This is a fuel sender for a 2004 Cessna 172 Sierra Papa. And this, I'm told, is the second fuel sender that failed. The indication is that when the fuel is full, sometimes the right fuel gauge is shows empty so this is a float arrangement a pretty simple part i'm going to see if i got another part number here to show you i don't know if i can let's see no. let's see hoping i could show it to you but i guess i can't um but this appears to be a resistor and this lead and this lead um this is a ground lead i expect an airframe lead and this is a lead that um looks like it's it inputs um some voltage which is unknown to me i don't have the schematic what we're going to do here is test this part uh, and look at its uh, resistor, the variable resistor values in this. I'm on the ohm scale and currently reading mega ohms, and I've got the the uh, in the ohm meter scale, and I've got the leads connected like this. And um, here's the ohm, here's the connectors on the meter side, and. You can see where it, I'm, I'm flopping it over on this side and it goes to kilo ohms. But if I, see it goes to kilo ohms, but I, I ooch it up a little bit with my finger and it goes to 90 uh, and it's increasing in ohm value. Okay. So, at we increase, increase, increase in ohm value as this thing is going up. Okay, there's two ohms. Actually, we decrease in. Okay, there's a lot of ohms there, but there's two ohms there, right? On one side. And here. We're increasing in ohm values, generally speaking. And then it goes to kilo ohms, which that would be, I'm guessing that the kilo ohm is, um, it's either empty or full. I don't know which, right, at this point. Now, so that would appear to be pretty well behaved, right? We get kilo ohms on one side, which is a very significantly high resistance. And then we kind of take the thing this way and we get, you know, pretty, pretty low resistance, two ohms of resistance. Okay, so now let's see if I can make a fail. I just like do this. So that so there, see, it's in a failure state now. It's in kilo ohms after it kind of went back and forth a bit. It's on the kilo, kilo ohm scale, and it's and it's um, it's the opposite direction, right? It should be reading a very low resistance level, but it's it was a very high resistance, so it's going to kilo ohms, right? And that's at a closer. So if I move it now, if I move the sender this way, 
I go back to nine ohms or five ohms or two ohms. But, and then if I just let it sit there, I'm assuming that this is the full position. It is, you know, well behaved at 2.78 ohms. But if I whack it a bit, I can put it into the kilo ohm, weird kilo ohm state. And there, there it is now. That That's the state probably where the tanks are full and it's it's reading empty now let's go let's go back over again show you okay so that's 107 ohms and look i'm whacking it again over on this side when i travel to this side i'm at the now i'm at mega ohms right so it's sort of doing the same thing on either side. However, when it does it on the empty side, so I'm in the state now on the empty side where I've got mega ohms, which I don't think is the correct um, amount of resistance. Now I've got kilo ohms on the empty state, but it doesn't matter because um, super high resistance means you're empty. And now I'm going back and lifting the sender up. And I'm going down and I'm just leaving it gently there. I'm getting 92 ohms. And if I press it hard on this side, I get, I get kilo ohms. If I'm just push, pressing it with my finger, I get kilo ohms. Okay, so let's go over to the other side. This is the full side now. And now I'm gonna press it hard, press it hard. And I'm not getting, I'm not able to trigger it. I'm not able to trigger a failure. But I can trigger a failure if I cause this thing to, I don't know, so I <laughs> try to trigger it anyway trying to figure out what motion it makes it. But I, you saw it in the other state when it was full. Yeah. It's unclear to me, you know, just the act of, and who knows if there's fuel, maybe that's gonna make a difference, but it doesn't, I'm not able to get it to work again. Good thing I recorded that other one. Oh, there it goes. There's the kilo ohm state right there. Where we're full and we're mimicking empty. When you've got, you know, it's got this weird, it got mega ohms, kilo ohms, and it's just sitting there on the wrong side of it, right? So this is the this is the kind of random um, when tanks full, putting pressure here, bouncing this around, and then all of a sudden, boom! You know we don't have. But now let's say the tank gets just a little bit empty. Oh, well behaved. We got you know five ohms, and then you know this is a half tank somewhere, and then we just let it and. And then we've got mega ohms or kilo ohms on this side, which is fine. That's totally empty. And then we've got, you know, almost, you know, just a little bit of fuel in the tank. We got uh, 91 ohms. So um, I think that's, we ended up replacing, uh, had our AMP replace. Okay, there. I got the failure mode there, mega ohms on the on the full side, I think. Okay, I think that's, this is of course, just my, um, I'm not an AMP, I'm not, you know, anybody who knows anything about airplanes. I just took a bad part and I'm looking at it right now. Okay, here's the uh, replacement part, I guess. 
Uh, one of my partners ordered it and that's the replacement part for the uh, the part that I'm about ready to show you. You can see here the new part doesn't look the same as the old part. 